We're here with our UW South Northwestern Mutual Athletes of the Week for Week 12, Jordan Kelch and David Linsmeyer. How are you guys today? Good. Great. Awesome. Okay, so tell us a little bit more about yourself. Uh, my name is Jordan Kelch. I'm a fifth year transfer student. I'm studying business administration um, from Menominee, but I went to school in Chicago for four years, so I'm back home. And awesome. Yeah, I'm, my name is David Linsmeyer. I'm a senior here at Stout. Um, I'm studying human development and family studies, and I want to be a counselor when I'm older. Um, I'm from Austin, Wisconsin, M Town, City of Dreams. And uh, yeah. Awesome. So, what's something quirky about you guys? Um, I have a puppy I'm obsessed with, and I like to knit on the way to the cross country. <laughs> I can blow a bubble out of my mouth, <laughs> which is kind of weird, but like, yeah, that's, that's kind of my hidden skill. That's awesome. Yeah. The men's cross team finished fifth overall and qualified for the national meet for the first time in 28 years. David, tell us a little bit about the regional course and the training lead up, leading up to this. Yeah, the uh, the course is pretty flat. We've always considered it a, a flat course, but or a fast course, but um, the ground was really hard, so that meant you could run a really fast time. Um, and leading up to it, we've been we've been running forever. It seems like since we most of us have been training since June or May, and uh, yeah, throughout the season, a lot of tempo interval stuff like mile repeats, um, off tempos, uh, basically any way to mix up the running early and get us into shape. Cool. Jordan, you and Kathleen Thorne are the first women from Stout to reach the national meet since 1998. What does that mean to the both of you? Uh, well, for both of us, it's amazing. Um, to be the first woman in anything is pretty cool. Um, I can't I don't want to speak for Kathleen, but for me it's like, I think it's like the runner's dream come true. Uh, when you're in high school, going to state feels like a big deal, but now to go to nationals is, it's national. So, um, I think the cool thing too is when I was little and we lived in Arkansas, we would go watch the NCAA indoor track meet at University of Arkansas. And I remember being like 12 and running around and getting the signatures. And I remember telling my mom when we were little, like, when I grew up, I want to go to nationals. So it happened. And <laughs> so it means a lot. But it's pretty cool. Awesome. Leading up to the regionals race, what were some expectations individually and as a team? Jordan, why don't you tell us first? Well, we've been trying to get seven girls under 24 all season. Um, so that was one of our goals, and we knew if we could do that, we would be Stout's fastest team, um, and we completely shattered that, so that was awesome. And then individually, my my goals have been really funny because I keep surpassing all my expectations, um, but my goal was I wanted to PR by anything because I thought that would be hard enough, mm -hmm. so... Um, yeah, I won PR and I really wanted an all-region medal. That was my big goal, was to hopefully get one last medal to finish off senior year. Um, so yeah, it was a great day because we met all those, uh, we accomplished all of those goals. Cool. David, how about you? Uh, yeah, for individually, I, I just wanted to PR and um, do whatever necessary for the team to have a great race. And um, as a team, I think for probably almost a year or well over people have been thinking about this race knowing we had a shot at nationals so um i remember last summer shelf put up on the board a whiteboard all the teams in our regional and where we would fall and it you know some people thought of us as a bubble team but shelf is like no we're, we're going to take top five and sure enough that was that was the coolest thing ever everyone put in, put together a great race and we hit we were fifth so yeah it was unbelievable most of the meets are a couple of weeks apart. Nationals are this weekend. How does that affect your preparation? Um, well, at this point, uh, we're in as good a shape as we're going to get in. So uh, right now it's kind of about recovering and getting over Saturday's aches and pains and moving on to this Saturday. And I think right now that a lot of the guys are kind of just focusing on having fun and you know enjoying the moment with their teammates and, and family. So, yeah, we've... Right now we're just having fun and trying to motivate each other to not be satisfied with uh, Saturday's outcome. Having multiple runners in both genders, how do you plan to use each other at nationals? 
Um, I think we're in a unique situation because Shaf's been before and Patrick's been before, so we can obviously ask them about their past experience and what they recommend. And um, guys and girls race very different, but at least we can all give each other, you know, whatever advice we have. Um, and I think it's just going to be fun to have a big group. Mm -hmm. uh, the girls, we all have practice together in cross country, but we're often separated. Well, we're always separated. Um, and I think it'll be fun to kind of just hang out with the guys mm -hmm. for a week. I haven't got, as a transfer student, I haven't got to hang out with just the boys. Um, so I think it'll be an interesting bus ride. But <laughs> yes. <laughs> what are your thoughts, David? Um, yeah, I mean, even though we race separate and, and practice separate a little bit, I think we can definitely help each other um, mentally prepare for the race. And um, every one of Shaft's runners has a plan going into the race and just staying focused and like I said, not being satisfied with sat last Saturday and looking forward to this Saturday is something um, that, that will be really important for everyone, no matter gender, which team you're running on. So, yeah, just helping the other ones, because they are teammates, helping mm -hmm. them out to just run great. Yeah. Awesome. Good luck at Nationals, you guys. Thank Thanks. you. Preparation is how you make the most of opportunity. At Northwestern Mutual, we'll work together to create a personalized financial plan that helps turn your challenges into rewards.